I'd just like to take you through how to connect a PASCO sensor uh, to your iPad. Uh, first of all, you've got to make sure that the sensor is plugged into your Pas Passport AirLink 2 and make sure that the AirLink 2 is switched on. There's a little switch on the side of a 0 on 1, switch it into the 1 position. Now, to pair it with your iPad, you can go to uh, Utilities. In there, we've got Settings. And if Bluetooth is not switched on, switch your Bluetooth on. Now, you want to make sure that you're connecting with your sensor, not somebody else in the room. So you have a look at the, uh, the, uh, the sensor, or rather the uh, AirLink 2. And its ID number, in my case, is 02127. So touching on the appropriate um, air link, I'm now connected. I can now just go back to the home screen, flip over to the second home screen, and open Spark View. This is the uh, Pasco software. Now, it already says pH 5.4. It's reading the pH of the uh, buffer solution or the sensor. If I touch on that and touch show at the bottom, when I'm ready, I touch the play button, bottom left, and it begins to take samples. You may notice at the bottom it's 5 hertz, so it's taking a sample 5 times every second. Now you, wait, you may want to plot a graph of how pH is changing with time, for example in a titration experiment. But if you go to the bottom right, you'll see that there are different options as to how you can display, display your data. Number one that we're on is the graph. Number two is simply digits, the value of the pH. Number three is a table showing how the pH is changing with time. Number four is a meter view, if you prefer to see your data viewed in that way. Well, enjoy. Thank you.